Hello yogis! This is going to be a cooling summer yin practice. We will need a bolster or a couple pillows to make ourselves a little bit more comfortable on some of these postures. So go ahead and grab those things, get some water, a towel, and I'll meet you on your mat. Let's go ahead and find a comfortable seat. So with that bolster or pillow, we can bring it behind us, sitting on it, or just rest it on our low back or sit bones, just to create a little stability here. Hands resting down on your legs. Eyes begin to soften down at the floor or close all together. Begin to notice your surroundings, the sounds that you hear. the texture of the mat beneath your feet, the sound of your breath, and the shape that your body makes as it creates room for your breath, and as it lets go of your breath. Begin to lengthen your inhales and exhales. Slow them down, deepen them. Widen the space in your body that your breath flows into and out of. Relax every other part. Practice a cooling breath together. So a couple options based on the shapes that your mouth can make. We'll go ahead and make an O shape with your mouth for option one. And then draw the sides of your tongue together to roll your tongue. And then pull in the breath like you're sipping through a straw. If you cannot roll your tongue, We'll bring our teeth together, have our mouth as wide as we can get it, and then same thing, we sip in the breath through a straw. So take that breath a couple times in, and as you exhale, reseal your lips, let your breath go through your nose. Inhale, open your mouth, sip your breath in. Reseal your lips, let your breath go through your nose. And do this five more times at your own pace, pulling in that cool into your body, releasing the heat through your nose. Go ahead and relax your breathing. Find an even turning breath, breathing in and out for the same amount of time. And go ahead and cross your legs the opposite way. Readjust your body to become comfortable. Five rounds of breath, breathing in and out. Either keeping that cooling breath or sitali breath or just breathing in and out naturally.
As we move into our shapes today, keeping that same breath pattern, that same breath focus, and always adding in that cooling breath if you need it. Go ahead, widen your knees out to the side. Soles of the feet come together, butterfly pose. Stacking shoulders over hips. Begin to feel what's going on in your inner thighs. Yin is all about noticing what you feel in your body. And that feeling, that sensation guides you into either deepening your shape or lessening the intensity of your shape. So if we're seeking to lessen the sensations of our inner thighs, we'll just walk our heels and toes forward a little bit. Keep a long spine as we breathe here. Allow your whole body to relax. As our muscles relax, the rest of our body, our deep connective tissues, can start to get the stress that they need in order to grow, lengthen, and strengthen. Two more rounds of breath, butterfly pose. As we start to bring ourselves back to neutral, gently guide your knees in. Walk your feet forward, sway your legs from side to side. Go ahead, straighten your legs out front and then widen your right leg out towards the side and left leg up towards the side. So finding a wide shape, as wide as your body feels comfortable. If you're anything like me, the back muscles of my body are very tight. So I feel myself falling back. My low back is bending, collapsing in. So I'm gonna take a seat on that pillow that I have. Just to lift my hips up a little bit higher so I can find more comfort in this posture. Nice long spine here. Letting our hamstrings adjust to the shape. Relaxing in with our breath. No need to point or flex our toes, just letting your legs be natural. From here, we have the option to begin to fold forward. So. The way we do this, nice long spine, sending our chest forward, back is long, and whenever we start to feel the tension along our spine, we just rest there. Hands can be at center, we can rest on top of our shins or thighs, wherever is comfortable, wherever our body lands. If you have a whole lot of sensation to the point of pain, in the backs of your legs, go ahead and bend your knees a little bit. Drag your heels towards you and then find the shape here. We'll take five to seven rounds of breath, depending on how long or short your breaths are. Breathe into the shape, feel what's going on in your body and make adjustments where you need to. Inhale, slowly roll your body back up to center. Leave your legs where they are. Exhale, drop your left hand. Start to bend over towards the side. Inhale, 
Inhale, come back up to center. Exhale towards the right. Inhale, come up back to center. Turn your body to face your right leg. Drop your left elbow down and lean into your body. For some of you, we may go pretty deep. Others of you, we may stay tall. We just want to keep length through both sides of our body. Three rounds of breath here. Let your head relax down. Inhale, lift your torso up. Turn your body to face your left leg. And then drop your right elbow down. Stir to side, bend over. Three rounds of breaths. Relax your head. Inhale, lift yourself up. Slowly begin to Bend your knees, press in with your heels, drag your feet forward. Knees come together, and then let yourself fold over your legs. Give yourself a hug. Rest your head down. Feel the compression of your thighs on your belly. From here, roll over onto one hip, hands and knees, widen your knees, hip width apart, or wider, toes together, child's pose. And we can bring that pillow underneath us to lessen the intensity of the stretch, or release the pillow out from under us and come down flat on our mat. And we'll take 10 rounds of breath here. And I'll cue us halfway through, just if you're resting one cheek down on your pillow to switch and even out sides. So go ahead, start that first inhale in through your nose. And then exhale. Switch the side of your head that you're resting on. Bring your head to neutral, and as you inhale, start to press yourself up. Tabletop pose. Give your hips a sway. Move your body in whatever way you need to to release. Draw one to two cat cows with your body. So as you inhale, drop your belly. Cow pose. Exhale, round your spine, cat. Find a neutral spine. Right hand. Let's do left hand first. Left hand comes underneath your nose. Inhale your right arm up towards the sky. Exhale, thread your arm through. Drop your shoulder. Drop your head. Hips stay stacked over knees. Now, if you have a neck injury, I suggest coming into child's pose to do this twist so we don't put as much strain on our neck. We're just seeking to get a little openness through our shoulder, a little twist through our spine. Four more rounds of breath here.
Inhale, begin to unwind your body. Right arm comes up towards the sky. Exhale, plant your hand. One round of cat cow. Right hand underneath your nose. Inhale, left arm comes up. Exhale, we thread it through either in tabletop with hips high or child's pose, hips low. Five rounds of breath. Next, inhale, start to unwind your body, left arm up towards the sky. Exhale, plant your hand, one round of cat-cow. Walk your knees towards your wrists, take a seat over to one side, and swivel your legs out towards the front of your mat. Grab your pillow, move it off towards this side, within reach. Lower down. Hands rest down by your side. Press in with your low back. Shoulders relax down, creating space through the chest. Open and close your jaw to relax your face. Maybe take a couple of those cooling breaths in through your teeth or your tongue. And out through your nose. Bring your hands, palm facing down by your hips. Press in with your feet. Lift your hips up. Chin stays tucked into your chest. Gaze is constantly lifting up towards the ceiling to protect your low or your upper back. And then go ahead and drag your pillow underneath your spine. So we want that pillow underneath the area of the tailbone and the low back. We call this place our sacrum. Hands can rest on your belly to fill your breath or rest down by your side. Tuck your chin in a little bit more without lifting up your head. Your body adjusts to this bridge shape. From here, to bring the sensation into our hips, into our iliopsoas area, we can start to extend the right leg out straight. And then the left leg out straight. If this causes any dumping in your low back to where you feel uncomfortable or too much pressure in your hips, just bend your knees a little bit and maybe find the space that works for you today. We'll take five rounds of breath in your final shape that you found for yourself. your legs are extended out towards the front, drive your toes up towards the ceiling before you pull your legs back in. Feet are hip width apart. Back is still supported with that pillow. Bring your chin in a little closer again without lifting up your head and then pull your left knee into center. And then your right knee into center. So the pillow might naturally move but we just want to get a little release in our low back. Nice little hug here. Go ahead, if you can, clasp your fingers together, resting your forearms on the sides and tops of your knees. If this is uncomfortable, 
Just stay in your supported bridge. Maybe pull one knee in at a time. Our last posture today is waterfall or reset posture. And we can do this one leg at a time as well. Start to extend your left leg up towards the sky. And just let gravity pull that leg down. Keep the leg relaxed, maybe bounce it around a little bit. Keeping our heels stacked over our hip. Our knee can be bent as much as we need it to be. So again, one leg at a time for this, or we can do both legs. Again, checking in, maybe wiggling around the legs to release anything that's hanging out in our joints, our muscles, and then letting the legs fall down, relax. On your next exhale, slowly begin to drop your left foot down, right foot follows. Draw your feet in a little bit closer, as close as you can get them hip width apart. And then press in, lift your hips up, remove your pillow out from underneath you. Hips drop down. Now before we hug our knees into our chest, just windshield wipe your legs side to side. Let your gaze follow, creating some space along the sides of your neck. Now we can pull our knees into our chest. Left knee in first, right follows. Big hug. Go ahead and lift your upper back up. Draw your head towards your knees. And then release yourself all the way down. Inhale, stretch out. Fingers behind you, toes point. Exhale, rest your hands comfortably wherever you find that to be. For our Shavasana today, we can lay flat, traditional Shavasana, or maybe we bring the pillow underneath our knees, creating some space for our back to relax. If we want more chest opening, we can always bring our pillow and lift ourselves up. Bring it long ways underneath our spine. And as long as our head is supported, resting here in this shape. So find what works comfortably for you. Let everything go. Take one more cooling breath in through your mouth. And then out through your nose. Relax your thoughts. Relax your body. Allow yourself just to be. And I'll wake us up at the end.
to rest for a longer period of time. Please stay just as you are. Whenever you're ready, start to deepen your inhales and exhales once more. Wiggle your fingers, your toes, start to make movement through your body. Maybe swaying side to side, rocking side to side. Move your head, find space. Roll over onto your left side. Resting here, one big inhale in through your nose. Open mouth, exhale. As you inhale, press yourself up into a comfortable seat. Inhale, arms out towards the side, up to the sky. Exhale, hands down through heart center. Thank you so much for taking this time for yourself. And I invite you to thank yourself for breathing, for listening, for staying in these postures, for making space for yourself in your life. It's my honor to be here with you. Namaste.